In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this centre section of the pendant. It's all made using one, um, one piece of beading thread, which goes along, threads through, and then continues around the neck, uh, which you just finish off with a clasp. So, to make this centre section with the little um, tassel detail at the bottom, you're going to need um, some beading thread. Um, you've got beading thread in the kit. We're going to need um, some of the beautiful uh, blue highlight tubes and some of the four millimeter round um, plain soda light. Okay, so we're going to need some of those. We're also going to use three uh, of the head pins and one jump ring. And the tools you'll need um, to put this little section together are um, we're going to need wire cutters to cut the um, head pin and the beading thread. We're going to need flat nose pliers um, to open and close the jump rings. We're going to need some round nose pliers to make the loops at the top of the little tassel sections. Um, and that's that's all we're going to need to do that little section. So, um, so let's get going. I started this piece from the bottom of the um, pendant drop uh, and then worked my way up, up the pendant drop through through the soda light and the how light and then onto the necklace. So we're going to start with the little tassel detail on the bottom. Okay, so uh, we've got three of the little drops attached to um, a jump ring. And to make the little drops, all I did is added on soda light, how light and a soda light to a head pin. Okay, and then we hold that all together. Make sure it's nice uh, at the bottom, touching the bottom of the head pin. So there's no gaps. And just make that bend in the head pin. So you need to cut off then about, <coughs> excuse me, about a centimetre. Pop in your round nose pliers and then just roll, roll that until the end of the head pin meets um, the gemstone just there. Okay, so we need to straighten that up. So we've got our little, little drop. So you're going to make three of those. You're then going to attach them to um, a head pin. You're not. You're going to attach them to a jump ring, as I've done here. Okay. So now that forms the bottom of the um, the necklace detail. So I'm going to show you then how we how we proceed for the weave woven section. Right. So we're going to place that down onto the board. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to take a length of um, beading thread. Now I would use about a metre or so, if, uh, or, or whatever you're comfortable working with, as long as you've got enough to do the woven section and complete the necklace, okay? But if you can work with about a metre, that will give you plenty of, um, plenty of um, beading thread um, and make sure that you've got enough then for finishing off, okay? So what we're going to do is pop it through the, head, uh, through the jump ring, bring the two ends together, and those two ends are going to go through one of the soda light. So we're going to bring that down to meet the jump ring, but not quite. So we want a bit of we want movement on this um, drop here. So we want that that jump ring to be able to move. We don't want that tight. So you can see there, there's actually a little loop of the beading thread there. Okay, so I'm going to try and maintain that little loop there. So now what we need to do is just separate these out a little bit, and we're going to pop on. Um, one of the blue highlights on each of the um, lengths of beading thread. Okay, we're going to pop those just there, followed by um, a soda light. We're going to do the same on both sides. So we've got a highlight and a soda light on both sides. So let me just get another one there. So I'll pop that one on. So now we've got um, that um, detail there. So what we need to do now is take one more how light and pass this end, one end through how light in that direction. And the other end of the beading thread through in the opposite direction. You can see there. And then what we need to do is we need to pull that 
so that then it creates that sort of um, triangular detail. So just hold that and pull that so it's nice and neat. Okay, so now we've got that first part of um, the pendant drop. Right, so for the second um, section, what we need to do is add on to one side, we need to add on a soda light and a how light. And then on the opposite side, we thread on just um, the soda light. Okay, so there we go. So now what we need to do is bring the side with the soda light on. We need to pass that through the how light in the opposite direction to the beading thread that's exiting there. Okay, I'm just going to pop that through, through there. And again, we need to pull that in the same way that we did before. Just as you do that, make sure this is still nice and tight and nice and neat here. And then pull that down. So you see now you've got the second one in. So what we do then, we repeat that for as many of these sort of ladder um, details that you want. So that's a um, soda light and a highlight and a soda light on that side. Bring that around, pass the beading thread through and bring that together. So you see that gives you that sort of ladder, ladder detail there. Okay, so now you've got your beading thread here exiting the highlight there on both sides. So you can literally just thread those up with um, your um, soda light and your highlight or whatever combination um, you want. I'll just pop a few on so you can see how it looks. So now you see you just continue that all the way along the necklace to the length that you want. If I bring in the one that I've um, completed, as you see, so this is the little ladder detail we've just done. And then I've popped on um, a combination of the highlight and soda light all the way around the necklace, added on uh, a toggle clasp, which is in the, in the kit. Um, and I just think that makes a, a really pretty, pretty necklace design. Um, that's really easy to make. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and um, hope to see you soon.